Welcome back to the next episode of Math for Bronze. Today, we're going to be doing something called spherical coordinates. So, spherical coordinates is all about making something hard into something simple. And that happens whenever you have spherical uh, surfaces. So, let's say we were in three dimensions. That's a pretty shoddy Z dimension, but that's okay for now. Here's my X, here's my Y, and here is what looks like my Z. Now, let's say I have a point. Now, how can I take this point from rectangular coordinates x, y, z to spherical coordinates, which are r, or actually in this case rho, theta, phi? How can I make that transformation from x, y, z to rho, theta, phi? All right, so I'm going to show you the very quick derivation to, to doing this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start at our point, and then we're going to drop a line. We're going to drop an altitude to the x, y plane. So ready, set, go. All right, so we have an altitude to the xy plane. Now, what's the significance of that? Now we're going to connect the point where this altitude hits the xy plane to the origin. So let's do that. OK, so that's a, that's a pretty shoddy connection, but here we go. And so the angle between the x-axis and this connection, we're going to call that angle, we're going to call that angle theta. This is theta. And we're going to call the connection between the origin and this point we're going to call this angle phi. Okay, so now, if this angle is phi, this angle, by alternate interior angles, also has to be phi. That means this blue side is how big? This blue side has to be rho, which is the length of this pink side, rho, rho cosine phi, right? That's the length of this, that's the length of this blue side, rho cosine phi. So that's going to be that's going to be your z coordinate. Instead of z, you're going to have rho cosine phi. And what about x and y? Well, that's pretty easy too, right? All we have to do now is project to the x-axis. So let's project. 3 2 1. And to the y-axis. 3 2 1. Okay, so we project projected to the x-axis, projected to the y-axis. So what is this now? This x-axis length is going to be what? It's going to be rho now sine of phi cosine of theta. So this is rho sine phi cosine theta and likewise for y we're gonna have as you might expect rho sine phi sine of theta and now we are done we have transformed x into rho sine phi cosine theta y into rho sine phi sine theta and z into rho cosine phi thanks for watching this episode of math for bronze we'll check you out in the next one